Hi there everybody, it's UK independent demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.com. Thank you for joining me today for another episode in my Winter Wednesday series. On a Wednesday I grab one shelf off one shelf, one stamp off my shelf that is from the mini catalogue and I create three cards using that set and I haven't planned them out beforehand. So the stamp that I've grabbed today is the Warm Hug Stamp Set and this is part of a gorgeous suite in the mini catalogue and you can get another coordinating stamp set with this and some coordinating dies but for today for my three cards I'm just going to use the stamp set but all of the supplies that you will see today and the rest of this suite are available to purchase at slimandstylish.com if you go up to the header bar and click buy. So I like the idea of this eat drink and be cosy with the coffee cups I do quite like that so I'm just going to grab those out and I'm really hoping that the eat drink and be cosy stamp uh, this one here fits inside my circle and that's what I like about having photopolymer sets it's dead easy to work that out and to see so I'm just going to grab myself a block eat drink and be cosy is there um, I'm going to just pop that block over there and yep it fits in perfectly I thought it might because uh, you know Otherwise, what was the point of having the frame on the set? I'm just going to pick that up. Is that the right? I'm I've you tried to pick it up with a C block, and I think it's it just fits just a bit too comfortably. So I'm just going to grab it on a D block instead. And I want to play with the coffee cups and the insert to the coffee cup. So what you can do here is you've got the outline and you take the insert and you pop it in the outline and you can do the same on the candy canes and the same on the trees here and that will work. So uh, let's see how that goes. Right, eat, drink and be cosy. Yes, and I'm going to use a piece of Whisper White cardstock that is 10.2 centimetres by 14.5. And I'm going to start off with my set. Oh, that's. Why do I want it? I think I want it at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to go with Memento Ink to start off with. And I'm going to pop this, but I want to do it so my coffee cup will fit around it as well. So I'm going to go towards the bottom, but I am going to leave it a little bit of a gap. Like that. I'm going to pop my sentiment in. My sentiment will go in the middle there. I'm going to do that at the end. I just want to see how this goes with the coffee cup first. So I'm just going to do a few of these dotted around the card. And I'm turning my hand when doing them, but you'll notice I haven't put any that are upside down. Can't be having upside down cups of coffee. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a piece of scrap Whisper White. Well, it's not Whisper White, it's grid paper. And I'm going to pop it underneath and stamp a few coffee cups off the page. quite like that. I'm going to keep that handy because obviously I've got the infill of the cup to do. And I'm just going to look on here. Are there any snowflakes or anything? There are not. Oh look! Okay. There's steam. So I'm going to grab my Sahara sand for the steam. And each coffee cup is going to have a little bit of steam coming out of it, like that. Oh, I like that. Now, in my head, I'm thinking of reds and greens. 
for these coffee cups. Am I going to do them all the same colour? Am I going to change the colour? I'm just going to... I'm such a pain, aren't I, not wanting to get my big grid paper dirty. It's not that I don't like them getting dirty. I don't like them getting dirty in videos because I think it takes away from the actual card at the end. Um, right. I'm going to go with Poppy Parade. That seems like a very Christmassy colour to me. And I'm going to... I'm going to actually just pop this over the top of my grid paper because I'm in two minds. I don't know whether I want to do first generation or second generation. I think I want second generation for the coffee cups. So let's just... Yeah, I quite like it like that. That is so easy. I haven't even got my head over the top because normally I struggle. And first of all, I have shaky hands. And second of all, I struggle to do these kind of sets when I'm on video to you because you happen to be in the perfect place for my head to be to line it up properly. But actually, part of it being photopolymer, but also the way that it the coffee cup is aligned it's quite easy to do that There we go, that's quite cute. I like that, right. Now the sentiment, I'm not going to do that second generation. I'm gonna do that bold, loud and proud. Eat, drink and be cozy. So let's just pop that in. Oh yes, oh I like that card. Oh, that might be one of my favourite cards I've done for quite a bit, actually. Um, piece of Whisper White. It's already scored in half, so all I've got to do is close and burnish it. I'm just going to pop Poppy Parade to the side. I love this. I'm not even going to put any ribbon on it or anything, because I just I think it already looks gorgeous. When I use the bigger pieces of cardstock so when I do my 10.2 by 14.5s I actually sit this edge completely flush with the folded edge like that I don't try and pop it in the middle I then just get a little frame around the opening sections and I'm going to come in with my dimensionals and I'm going to pop this up now I could have used the dies and die cut out a few of those coffee cups and popped a few at different levels so had one or two of them 3d that would have looked amazing too but the reason i didn't get the dies off the shelf today was because i have noticed when i'm doing the um the winter wednesdays or the saturday series so on saturdays i just do cards from the annual catalog and on the wednesdays i do them from the mini catalog because I make three cards with no plan and the sync time and everything else, they're about 30 minutes. And if I start getting the dye machine out and things like that, I, I just feel it's a bit unfair for you all to sit around a little bit longer. So do I want to pop any of these on? Do I? Yeah, I'll pop a few on. I'm going to pop the clear ones on from the Elegant Faceted Gems just so that there's a little bit of sparkle there, but not lots because I, like I said, I think it looks quite nice as it is. So I'm gonna pop one on that side just there and one on the other side. 
and that's about as jazzy as this card's going to get because yeah I, I really like it in fact i love it so let's make two cards now that let's hope that they are as good as those because i really like that one okay so I'm going to do a very, very similar one, actually, and I'm going to do warm hugs to you all season long. And I'm going to play with a mixture of Christmas trees and candy canes so I can see that if they are just as easier to line up. So I'm actually just having a little bit of a thought. It scares me when I have these thoughts. I think... I'm stuck it to my block. I actually think that these two will line up together. I'm going to try that because that's that seems pretty exciting to me. And then I was going to do candy canes and Christmas trees. And I don't know why I've put for you. <laughs> I said I was going to do um, warm hugs to you all season long. And instead I pulled the for you one off. So it is quite hard when they are on the back end to tell which one's which. Do double check if you've got your heart set on doing one. And I'm just going to clean these up. I've got my chamois to the side because I only have four of the little, little blocks. Already used three with my coffee cups, so my tree, and my tree, and my candy cane, and my candy canes. Right, okay. And I'm going to use the same sheet of paper. Okay, and I'm going to, I'm going to do the frame in soft suede, uh, sorry, Sahara sand because it's already out. And I'm going to pop it roughly in the same place as where I put the last one. This is how you can tell if my first card works. If I imitate it on all my other ones, it's because I like Okay, so before I stamp it, I'm going to make sure the warm hugs uh, to you, it, make sure it's all straight and lined up and go. It does. It fits perfectly. How exciting is that? It's really exciting, but I don't like it in black. How strange is that? I'm going to keep going. I think it, they should have been in the same colour. I think either the frame should have been in black or the middle should have been in Sahara sand. But as I'm actually going to keep um, stamping the outlines in... No, I'm not. I'm going to go for a new piece. Right, I'm going to go all Sahara sand. There's going to be no black on this card. This is a change for me. I don't often do this. I'm normally a, I'm normally a bit of a stickler when it comes to my memento. I quite like it. Okay, so I'm going to try and stamp it roughly in the same place. And I'm going to come in with my... I didn't line that up very well, did I? Right, flip it over. Third time's a charm. I'm going to do the outside bit first. So the inside bit first this time. Okay, I'm sorry, I think my head's just knocked you, so you might have a bit of seasickness for a bit. Right, yeah, third time is a charm. Okay, we're powering forward now, so I'm going to do the Sahara sand with the Christmas tree and with my little candy canes. Oh, 
This set is gorgeous. I love it. How cute is this? I'm in two minds now. Do I put the colours? Where's my scrap paper gone? Um, do I put the colours inside these or just do I leave it like this? Because I like this. what to do what to do isn't that lovely okay hmm dilemma what I am going to do is I think I'm going to pop my little tree in that gap as well oh yes I am <laughs> right I am going to do the middles because that is the point of the card. But I'm not going to use Poppy Parade for my um, my candy canes. I'm going to use Petal Pink and go really light. And for my trees, I'm going to use Soft Sea Foam. And I'm just going to check as to whether I want one or two generation. I, I want one. I've already gone to a light colour, so... Oh yes, it's going to be a pastel-y card. I like pastel-y cards. And this insert for the tree, by the way, looks very patchworky. It's got all little crisscrosses on. I will show it you in a second. I will bring it up to the camera so you can see. But it's really nice. I'm glad I coloured it in. And this one, by the way, is just as easy as the coffee cup. Probably easier, to be honest. That was dead simple to do. Petal pink now for the insides of my candy canes. I've got a funny feeling these aren't going to be as easy. But let's, let's have a go. Do I want it first or second? I want it first again. Okay. Right, the trick with these is to use the cross in the middle where the two cross is the best place to line up with a stamp. Oh, I love it. Okay. little bit of a true story here I wasn't sure whether I was going to get this one off the shelf to play with today and I haven't played with it yet um and I wasn't a hundred percent sure sorry that's the Christmas tree when it's done so you can see the pattern inside it um yeah I wasn't a hundred percent sure whether I was going to um play with this set and I'm so glad I got it out and played with it I love it if there is one set from the Christmas catalogue you must get, this one. That's my decision. So far, I still have a couple of others I haven't played with yet, but so far, this one. I do like Freezing Fun and the Owls. Okay, there's quite a few sets you need to get, but this is now my, like, one of my top favourites. <laughs> Right, for jazzing this one up, I am going to I was looking at these ones here because I thought they were quite pastely to go with it. But I'm not 100 percent I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna use the white ones this time. 
I love these rhinestones by the way they they are gorgeous as you can tell they're one of my most used ones that's why it's uh, oh, almost empty but not to worry because I got a new pack on my recent order so not at danger at running out anytime soon Okay, that's card number two. Card number three. Come on then, stamp set. What are you going to give me this time? I'm going to go really simple this time. I'm going to change it up a little bit. And I'm going to use the You Are The Marshmallows to my coca. This, I'm going to go really simple with this one. And I'm going to use the same size base card. Okay, and I'm going to go that way around this time. So this again is 10.2 by 14.5. And I'm going to bring back in my memento. And I'm obviously not happy with myself because I've just sat and cleaned all of the little teacups and guess what I want them back you are the marshmallows to my cook oh yes I like it and we've got a teensy weensy little heart and then we've also got all of the coffee cups so oh no <laughs> did you see me do that oh, almost a catastrophe that could have been put down on anything and got anything I get into so much trouble with stuff. Let's just put the lid back on there for a second. I'm just going to clean these over. This is what's the great thing about our chamois, is you can just fold it and go to your stamps like that. It's just it's pretty awesome, to be honest. So I want my coffee cup back. Bye, tree. I enjoy playing with you. And... Candy canes back. I want my steam. I want my heart. And I don't want anything else. No, I don't. I want my mug. And my heart and my heart is going to be that really light petal pink that I've just used put that there and then my mug is going to go partly on it partly off it just to the side Crumb cake for my steam. Poppy parade for the inside of my mug. And I'm going to do it second generation again, so... Oh yes, I like it. And I don't know why, I think it's here for a cross stitch. We've got these little, and this bit here. I'm actually just gonna grab this little bit here. I'm just gonna quickly wipe that off and pop that back on. And with my memento, I'm just gonna ink that up. Like that. 
And you know what? That's it. Oh, I must not have scored that very straight. Let me um Hmm. Must have been in a rush when I did that one. Didn't even grab the same piece of um, cardstock, so I thought I was grabbing them all the same size. I wasn't, so let me tell you the size of this one. This one is 13.85 by 9.5 centimetres, so actually it's a little bit smaller. So do I want to pop it onto a poppy parade? Yeah, I do. I want to pop it on there. That was a good bad mistake, wasn't it? Or a bad good mistake. I don't know whether how that goes. We always say it when I bowl because um, I'm actually a, a bowler. Normally during the summer I'm out the house bowling every day, but instead I'm getting to craft with Christmas goodies. Um, and whenever we put down a bad wood that ends up being in the way or ends up being a bit of a nuisance or comes in and ends up being shot at the end, we call it a good bad bowl. And I'm going to stick it flush onto the cardstock instead. You're the marshmallow to my cocoa. Love it. Right. So card number one, which is actually, this is my favourite. Card number two, which I still love, and card number three. And I'm actually going to put some embellishments on card number three. I hadn't done that, so I'm just going to come in with our normal rhinestones. I'm just going to pop a couple, probably about three, maybe. Around there, just to give it a little bit of bling, just to... Oh. Do you know what? This one's really simple. I quite like this one too. I just love this set. So the set was called Warm Hugs. It's provided me with thorough entertainment. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. If you have, do give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe and come back for more. And if you have enjoyed this set or any of the items I've used, they're available for sale over at slimandstylish.com. Go up to header and click buy. And I'm pretty sure you're going to see another few cards made with this in the near distant future because... It's just gorgeous. I love it. Let me know which one's your favourite. Mine is mine is a tie between these two. But I like that one too. I'm, I'm going to say all three of them. <laughs> Let me know which one you liked. See you all soon. Bye.